Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get, uh, how to play Game Boy, I mean GameCube games on your computer. So, first you want to click on the first link in your description. So, uh, so it's going to send you to this site and you're going to click on 64-bit if you have 64-bit version or 32-bit if you have a 32-bit version. Uh, I don't think this works on Macs, so yeah. To find out what version you have, you can go to computer, right click, go to properties. Nope. Easier way is click on the Windows symbol and press on pause break. They're on your keyboard. So here it says 64 bit operating system. So mine's 64 bit. So. I click on the second one. I already have downloaded it, so it looks something like this. Once you run it, it's gonna this thing's gonna come up. So now you have to click on extract, so it extracts it to the desktop usually. Uh, so yeah, that's the folder that comes up. So that is how to get the emulator. Now for the ROMs. So click on the second site, 128bit.me, and scroll down and you should find GameCube games. Click on it. And click on any one of these. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. And you can search for the game you want. But I'm just so I'm gonna click on this one. Let's see if it works. Click on the link. Uh, yep, I will start recording once this timer goes down. Okay, uh, wait for the timer to go away and click on regular download unless you paid for it. Then I guess you could premium download it. And once again, I will start recording once the download is over. Since it's taking so long. 11 minutes. So yeah, these games are pretty big. As you can see, there are around 200 to 300 megabytes. So make sure you have enough space for this, because it's not like the Nintendo 64 games where you just download as many as you want, and it takes up like 10 megabytes or something each game. Uh, so yeah, I will start recording once I'm done downloading. Um, okay, so I've finished downloading it, so you want to show in folder. We'll find it in the folder and extract it. This doesn't take a while. Okay, that was pretty fast. Um, so you want to make a new folder in your GameCube folder and call it ROMs. And You want to. Um, okay, so I had to play around with it a while to figure it out. So once you have downloaded it, um, I'm going to show that in folder now. One sec. Right, um, I moved it, so. Heck. Anyways, once. Let's go to downloads. Once you have downloaded it, you will find a .rar file like that. So what you want to do is right click and click on extract files and then you'll get a folder like that with this exact same name. So you want to open it. So you are looking for a file that ends with oh, one sec, that, wait, that ends with GCM so in, in this case I didn't find anything that ends with GCM so I found this so what you should do if you find like a whole bunch of files like this is see the one that looks like uh, stacked books you select all of them and right click and click on extract files once it is extracted it will look like it will create a folder like that once you open it you should find this file in there. 
it should be like this so once you open it it should be like that with the file inside so what you want to do is get that file and just to show you here open up your 64 or 32 bit file that you got by extracting by installing the emulator so go into the ROMs folder that you created and drag it in or you can put it anywhere you want really just make sure you can find it later so you can close that up now uh, so to play the game you want to double click on dolphin.exe here you can go into options pad settings and set all your controls uh, if you want two players I guess you could do it too um, so yeah by clicking on it you can press any key you want to make it that key on your keyboard so once you have that set you want to click on open and find where you put the ROM wherever you saved the ROM to uh, so click on it click on open and this should pop up by clicking on that you can make it full screened and yeah and you can enjoy playing GameCube games on your PC for free thanks for watching this was a request by rock 2 dashi one of my subscribers so if you have any other uh, requests you could feel free to make the request and yeah please rate comment and subscribe